What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So in this video, we're going through finally the 60 stamina variation of the Halloween Luffy raid boss. Um, this guy is semi-challenging, I would say. Like, there are aspects of him that could be difficult for some players. However, with the newly released Halloween Ace, it does make things a lot easier. So we'll obviously talk about the actual raid once we get into it. But before that, I want to talk about the unit himself, uh, understand what his abilities are, and how can he be best utilized, basically. So let's talk about him. So this is him at max level with maximum break. Obviously, I haven't maxed his skill yet. I'll be getting to that. Um, so he is an int fighter free spirit character. His stats relatively stock standard across the board there. His captain ability will boost fighter characters attack by 2.75 times and make their tandem slots beneficial nothing crazy his special ability which maxes out at 12 turns after his limit break will state that he binds himself for seven turns but by doing so he cuts one enemy's hp by 25 percent and reduces despair by four turns and then he changes all of your crew slots including block into tandem slots and if your crew's slot effects are already boosted when you launch the special you get a 2.75 times chain lock for three turns if you don't have an orb boost when you launch this special instead of getting that you will get a three times chain lock for one turn in terms of free to play this is a fantastic unit he's he has so many different abilities he's got utility he's got full board orb manipulation and he's a chain locker obviously there is a pretty big downside the fact that he binds himself for seven turns so even with max ability to you know remove the bind effect on your sockets he's still going to be binded for four turns so you're gonna have to have some sort of other special ability that can unbind this character to get the full force of this character he does have a really cool crewmate ability as well that makes your fighter characters tandem slots matching if your captain is a fighter character which means that when you have your special ability ready to go it means that you'll get a full board of matching orbs, basically, which is fantastic, right? Uh, he does have another one which will boost fighter characters base, base HP by 1.1 if the captain is a fighter class. This is very interesting. I don't actually remember another crewmate ability that boosts base stats by by a certain multiplier like that. I've never seen this before. That's very unique. Uh, he does have a support ability as well. He supports any fighter character adding 12% of his HP, which is nothing crazy. And he also has recovery bind resistance by 5 turns and pinch healing, healing 1.5 times his recovery below 50%. So the character is very good and he works obviously very well with Halloween Ace because Halloween Ace has a special ability of being able to unbind your characters by 10 turns with his special effect so he works very very well with the new halloween ace surprise surprise so if you have halloween ace you should farm him up anyway i'd say i'd suggest every, every player needs to farm this guy up he's fantastic so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of this brand new raid boss so now getting into this raid boss of halloween luffy on stage one this is where things get kind of tricky because he'll go ahead and special bind your entire team for 15 turns and for the next 20 turns or 19 turns you are going to have a, a much lower chance to get recovery slots. So the fact that you are special binded for such a long time, it makes it really annoying because you have to stall that out before you reach stage 4 because most teams will have to use a special on stage 4. Um, so you need to make sure you're stalling at least 15 turns prior to that which means that some teams will take a long time to clear this. Obviously the best way around this is to use a Halloween Ace Friend Captain as his captain ability will resist 10 turns of special bind and the really cool thing is is on stage 3 uh, you'll actually get all of your cooldowns basically maxed out which is really cool so as long as you have Halloween Ace is your friend captain. It's going to make your life a whole lot easier for this particular fight. Uh, here we have Rayleigh on stage 4 with about 5 million HP. He has a defense down immunity and he also buffs his own defense. So you've got to bring a character that can remove blue shield or increase defense. It's going to make your life a whole lot easier for this particular stage. And you'll also get given 10 turns of bind to your bottom row. So again, Halloween Ace is your friend captain. Using that on this stage to not only get an attack boost but to also remove that bind is going to be your best way around that particular stage. And then moving on to stage 5, which is going to be against Luffy, who is an int character with 12.2 million HP. His preemptive has an immunity buff. He rewinds all of your specials by one turn, which Ace will also resist as a captain. All of your slots are block. He will go ahead and lock those slots for one turn and change into a Psy character. Now, if you do have to stall that one turn to get your specials back, he does around 36,000 damage to your team, which is kind of bad. And after turn 2, he does blind you and make difficult perfect to hit. And below 20%, he just does a bunch of different damage now the thing is is once you do enough damage to actually kill luffy 
He revives with 4.8 million HP, he enrages himself, he has two turns of resilience, and also will remove your beneficial effects. So any type of special that you are waiting to use, like a multiple turn special, that will go ahead and get completely removed upon revival. Which is why I go ahead and use the Int Legend Mihawk here to go ahead and just kill him after his revive, because he doesn't revive with more than 60% of his health. So Mihawk is able to just completely destroy this guy here. Now, there are going to be four different teams for this video. You guys just saw the Snake Man team, which was quite effective. The secondary team here is a Doug bullet team now this team didn't work quite as well as the snake man team but look if you have the characters this team is an option uh, as I said at the start of the video I think you should just utilize a friend captain Halloween ace if you can find one and once you do find one make sure you got a team that works and then just doing it over and over again because um, utilizing Halloween Ace as the friend makes your life a whole lot easier and you can clear it so, so fast. The last team you guys are going to be seeing in this video will be utilizing a Halloween Ace friend captain and it clears it in like 90 seconds. It's extremely fast. It's all because on stage 3, all of your specials will get completely maxed out. So if you can, if you can just remove the special bind, all your specials will get completely maxed out on stage 3, which means you can move on to stage 4 and 5 and just completely wave clear it with your specials, which makes your life a whole lot easier. So common threads between the team you guys just saw and this one right here is obviously version 1 Rayleigh to remove the bind on stage 4 and also Int Mihawk for the revive on stage 5. Now the team after this one is going to go ahead and be a V2 Katakuri team and once again just stalling out all of that special bind and being able to completely wave clear once you reach stage 5 is basically the way that it rolls. Um, on the next team you guys are seeing as well being the V2 Katakuri team we do have Legend Magellan on that team as well and the reason for that is is because because you can literally activate Legend Magellan special and when you keep stalling and let the poison kill off the Rayleigh, once the poison kills Rayleigh, you'll be completely unbinded on your bottom row. So that is also a legitimate option if Rayleigh is giving you a little bit of a hard time, is utilizing Legend Magellan in your middle row and using his special ability on stage four, it'll completely get rid of Rayleigh, no problems whatsoever. And as I said, the last team is going to be a team with a friend captain, Halloween Ace, utilizing a captain of version two to a Kainu. Um, we do have a bunch of shooters and fighters on that team uh, and it just gets through it extremely quick. As I said, it's like it should be around 90 seconds, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. It's extremely fast either way. Um, so yeah, make sure you go ahead and use a Halloween Ace to make it much, much easier for yourself. And as I said, this is a character you probably want to max out. He has a very useful special ability, obviously going to be boosted in the upcoming treasure map and potentially in the next Kizuna, I would think as well. So definitely look forward to that. So this is going to wrap up this video here, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this one and if you guys did make sure to go ahead and hit the like button and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video